Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Okay, for our next project, I'm thinking of making a, well, it's not gonna be a simple project. I think I'm making a Panther tank that you'd see in World War II. Uh, I have the blueprints or references set up in the uh, project file right here already, as you can see. Uh, well, they're not exactly set up. I just drag them in. All you have to do is just place them. Uh, first off, I'm gonna delete lights and cameras because we're not gonna use those and those kind of getting in the way. Uh, the cube, let's just hide this for now. Let's turn on the reference. As you can see, we have the blueprint uh, image of this, which makes it really easy for us to kind of build. Uh, all we need are some additional references to kind of look and pick from to kind of see how certain areas uh, are or sort of additional details would look, which is this other image I have. But as you can see, it's a sort of drawing, uh, but it's kind of hard to find uh, high detail, high quality uh, images of a panzer, uh, not panzer, a panther tank. Uh, That's because they were kind of replaced by the panzer tanks uh, during World War II. Uh, but we're just gonna make this anyways. Uh, first off, the blueprints, we're gonna have to establish the uh, different angles uh, of the tank itself where here we have the side front back and top side of the tank we're gonna have to uh, well realign this or sort of align this to make it so that the images uh, kind of build out a, uh, a tank from each of its angles uh, first off I'm gonna rotate this this is gonna be the top section here so i'm actually going to duplicate this piece right here i'm going to rename this uh, reference as top and i'm thinking of spinning this on the z-axis by 90 degrees so that uh well this top section right here this top area i'm going to make it so that it sits at the center let's click on g i'm just going to move this on this axis right here. I'm going to see if I can get this at a center point. Uh, it might not be perfect. It should be around that angle. Also going to turn on the move gizmo so it makes it easier for me to kind of move around certain things. Uh, also, I feel like we should probably scale this up. Let's go like, I don't know, turn this to like four times its size. They'll need the z-axis since there's not really any ax, uh, sort of height to this right here. Uh, so we're just going to move this, put this at the center. And center point, let's move this, I guess roughly, let's say like this edge right here on the tank. I'm going go to the top view, slightly shift this right there, perfect. And that should be good. Now I'm going to go ahead, let's uh, also turn on the selectability, let's grab the restriction toggles, turn on selectability, that way we can just click on this, and now we can't touch this image anymore, or this image reference. Uh, I am going to go back into this empty, we're going to delete this since we have the top section here, I'm just going to go and take this, duplicate it. Uh, this is going to be the, I guess, side. And we are going to just simply rotate this on the y-axis by 9 degrees. Ooh, actually, technically, it should be x-axis. Uh, let's undo that. Let's go 90. There you go. And it's perfectly aligned up with this section right here. Well, it should be perfectly lined up. As you can see, top and side view, it should sort of go together. If you kind of look at it, how it matches. Okay, I'm going to move 
this guy and like outwards a little bit in case we want to build the object over here. Uh, let's say turn on the cube over here. I think over here in the side, top view, nothing is is obscuring it. I have to go into the front view now. We're just gonna go ahead and dump the front and back angles. I'm gonna take this image right here. We're gonna duplicate this guy and rotate this by, let's go zero degrees. Uh, move this out of the way. Let's try and align it with the whole section here. Let's see, top section, side section, should be roughly, well, we didn't move the height over here, so don't have to worry too much about it. But we try to align that angle right there. Let's go front, check. Uh, I could make this over here. Kind of put the cube as a reference point where certain things should be at. Let's just place it over here. Gonna scale it down. This is gonna be the center. Or actually, let's go to the top view. I'll replace it over here. Move it down to this section. And okay, it is slightly well, is this center? Let's turn on the x ray and check it out. Scale x, yeah, this is pretty much like almost spot on on the center. Ki could kind of just adjust this a little bit to the left side. I'm just gonna place it like so so that it is more at center. Or could just shift this a little bit. Let's go like 0.7, I don't know, 3. Move this. You can just click or hold on to this number area. Kind of slide it, adjust it. Uh, yeah, I think it's roughly like 7.4. Enter. No. 7.5. It's like really minimal stuff right here. Let's go like 7.2. Still not much. Negative seven. Okay, yeah, like this point is like non existent. Let's go like seven five. Three point one one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that seems pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna go into front view again. Check out how and where. The center is at. As you can see, it is not centered. So we need to kind of adjust this to the right. Let's go like 6.95 or 6. Check that out. I turn off the uh, x ray version. And we have that set up over there. It seems pretty good. All we have to do now is just take this, duplicate it. I should probably rename this as front. And let's duplicate this guy. Move this piece up in that angle. And let's go into front view. Definitely want to make it so. Oh, let's, uh, let's unselect that. Turn this into back. And this empty, let's call this IRL ref. Gonna organize it with zero, zero, zero. So that it's at, at top. And this section the back section right here. Let's see. That tread should be aligned. I'm gonna set this so that it, the um, the what should we call it? The location is set to zero. That way, it's more it's easier for me to kind of slide around and adjust certain things. Uh, let's see this piece because the uh, image right here it's not. 
it's not perfectly matched up. I might need to see if I can turn this into more of a transparent image. Uh, transparency. Let's go like image. Use alpha. Yeah. Let's go like uh, 0.5 or something so I can see this still. Kind of align the images. Let's go roughly around here. And height wise, it is almost perfect. Let's see, right here. Yeah, generally this height seems about right. That's good. You can just turn off the alpha, put that back, and that should be properly where the back section is at. Uh, I'm just going to put this over here. And if we were to, yeah, seems pretty good. One front side, back side, front side, back side. Or this is front side and this is back side, yeah. Let's just have that. And we're pretty much good to go. Uh, first, I'm also going to put the RRL reference up. Let's go to object. Scale this up by, I don't know, again, four. And I'll just shift it over to the side, put it in the sky or something, rotate this guy by 90 degrees, and was it x-axis 90 degrees? Okay, perfect. Yeah, we can just use that as a sort of detail reference so we can see certain things in sort of a better light. And yeah, there you go. We have our references set up. And we're pretty much good to go. Uh, yeah, uh, for now, we'll take a short break. We'll come back to this later. Make sure to save all your work and yeah, we will get everything started. Okay, we're back with the Panther tank and we're just going to go ahead and sort of do a basic block of said tank. Uh, first off, I'm actually going to rename our reference folder or collection to 000.ref and uh, sort of set this at the top making it easier for me to kind of just select the uh, asset itself instead of randomly clicking on the uh, references right here. In fact, I'm probably just going to turn off all the selection for all the objects right here. I'm just going to turn that back on, turn it off for all. So now I can't, you know, grab any of those right there. And let's see, front and back. I don't think I need to worry too much about the front and back right now. We're just going to do sort of uh, the basic block of top and bottom. Uh, actually, no, I will keep one of them on. Let's just turn off the back right here. Let's uh, turn that off, kind of hide our uh, reference folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and sort of go into the side view right here. We have the object here. And I think. I think it might be slightly mis- well, it's not really misaligned. Height-wise, go front view, check it out. Yeah, I think it's good. I'm just going to go ahead, go into edit mode, face mode, go into uh, wireframe here, select half of this, or not half of this, just this one uh, face right here. I'm going to just extrude it outwards, or sort of pull this all the way to the end right here. And I am going to go Shift A, create another mesh cube. Let's place this guy. Oh, I'm gonna make sure that the object isn't uh, dropped into like the other reference folder right there. So it's you can actually select the object. Just gonna sort of grab, I guess, this top section, top hatch of the tank here, scale on the X, wait, Y axis right here, actually. Let's say roughly up to here, and Shift D, we're gonna move this to the front. I turn this into the X ray version so I can actually see things for a bit. Scale on the Z axis. Put it like roughly around here. This is where generally the sort of uh, that tank, uh, I guess, 
tank cannon sort of positioning uh, section right here is set at and I'm just gonna go ahead and so I move this downwards let's go shift D move this on the Z axis and let's uh, scale this on the what was it Y axis pull this outwards generally around this height as you know that's a little bit too thick right there I'm gonna place this like roughly around here and it's going to face mode I'm gonna grab that front face kind of pull it back towards here you gonna see how it, the length is right here I should probably do the same thing to this section here top face push this down roughly around this height and I'm gonna pull this back to over here. This guy right here. We'll readjust the angles later on, but for now we'll just keep it like you know simple pieces right here. Now for this bottom, we're gonna duplicate this, move this on the Z axis as well. Now we're gonna make the sort of tread section right here. We're gonna push this forward, scale on the Y axis, and scale on Z place it onto the ground let's go scale Z scale Y and we definitely want to sort of thin it go into the front view right here place it to generally around this height or this uh, side right here scale on the X axis and thin it down and that is the well for us right here this is the right tread but on the tank it's actually on the left because this is the front cannon but yeah we can sort of zoom out when this solids I've got to turn off the x-ray right there we can readjust this right here and uh, we can just keep on sort of blocking out how this looks and take this piece scale it on the X sort of pull it to this angle and let's see side front okay slight issue I think the general height of this uh, tank right here is a little bit taller on our reference image uh, let's see okay this height location let's turn on selectability again height negative uh, 0 0.0137 it is the same, so that means the reference image itself is a slightly, just slightly off. I'm going to go into here. Let's go Shift D. Just move this on the uh, axes right here. Uh, let's see. Move it on the X axes. Scale X. Use this as sort of a a line for us right here. Go back in the side view. Move this on the Y axis. Okay, yeah, it is slightly off in the reference image itself. So I need to kind of readjust that. Let's go into the front side right here. Just gonna move this just a tad bit down. Like so. And I guess like roughly over here. And the back side, definitely need to fix that up as well. Let's, let's just move this over here as well. And we're going to go back in the front view. I guess the height is pretty much the same. No, some of these images are just slightly off. It's not like perfect aligned. Oh well, we just leave it like this. I'm gonna go turn that off again. Delete this. And it should be pretty much aligned side and uh, front here. Let's go into wireframe. Kind of see how it looks. Yeah, our object itself is just slightly higher. So I'm gonna scale this on the Z just a tad bit. Go back in the solids, check it out. And we'll need to sort of scale this on the x-axis as well. We'll angle these guys out again later on. Because uh, this 
tank is sort of in a kind of pyramid shape right here. I, I guess it's, it was built like that to kind of have bullets or I guess rockets kind of just ricochet off the sides at a certain angle so it doesn't go for a direct hit. Uh, anyways, let's take this piece right here and I'm going to set, I'm going to right click, uh, set origin to three cursor and check out the side right here. I'm going to go into face mode, wireframe face and just drop this to the floor right there. Check out the front, slightly different right there. But this is just some basic blocking, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Back to object mode, we can go into mirror mod. Let's go mirror this, because this is a, well, it's a separate object, right? So you'd need to probably place it to the other side right there. And we're going to add on the hatch right here. I'm just going to go to side view. Let's take this piece, shift D. Let's move it over on top. Let's turn on the x-ray version. Now we can see the image in the background there, as well as kind of the uh, the object that you're playing with right here. And it's just one of the main pieces right here. Let's go back in the front view. I'm gonna move this over here to the side, scale on the X axis. Jump in the, check it out. There you go, we have the sort of basic blocking of the panther tank and we will we'll build from that make it more detailed and check out the top view as well uh, I guess the tank itself is slightly wider or these areas are sort of like plating you can kind of see in the, uh, the reference right here uh, but yeah we will you know detail those out sort of bring out those uh, plate sections. And yeah, since this tank is fairly symmetrical, make our lives pretty easy when we're throwing in the details. We just have to work on one half of the piece. Uh, let's see, let's go into object mode. Where is that piece? The hatch right here is Oh, okay, the top view is kind of small right there. The hatch, as you can see from the side view, it's, uh, oh, actually, no, I just kind of scaled it out a little bit too much right here. Let's scale it back into Y axis. Top view, check it out. It's slightly off right here. Let's see, yeah, that there is some differences when compared to the top view right here. Uh, something, I guess this section is just a tad bit longer, this blueprint image right here. Uh, could do the same process again, just, you know, kind of measure out how it looks. Let's uh, move this on the Y axis. I guess this is where that line would be, scale on X. Scale X more, and yeah, you can see there's definitely a slight little difference between the reference image right here. Uh, let's sort of measure this section as well. End pipes, pretty much perfect. So yeah, the, these blueprint images aren't that perfect. So we'll need to kind of adjust them ourselves, kind of look at how it looks, how certain pieces will fit on the said tank right here. Uh, but yeah, for now we have our basic block tank. We'll continue on later uh, and sort of work in the details. I'm thinking of just starting with the top section here, slowly work downwards towards the treads. Uh, that way you can finish this uh, in a more sort of, uh, I guess, more of a procedure type of like step-by-step -step type of way of making this tank. Uh, but yeah, there you go. We have that basic blocking. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching this course. If you want to watch the rest of the course, the link is down below. Not only will you get the access to this course, but you'll get access to a lot of other courses in a huge bundle. And it's on sale today. So buy before the sale ends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.